you're watching this right now, we are live for the first live stream of the Sydney Rugby Premier season at home game here at Club Day. Just testing the audio. So hopefully this is all good. And we'll be seeing you soon around 2.30, 2.40 to see the game. Have fun.
ready now if you want to click the sound and video to my camera and put it on the stream. No sound on any other camera, just this one. Hey.
you want to go here? Uh, I want to go to the side of the house. Jimmy. Jimmy. And Charles.
Good boys! <laughs> Messi play on the line out, Belfast have it. No knock on from Sydney, unfortunately. A good scrum here. Belfast taking it out to their left side. Not out there. Belfast again just chipping away. Sending it out to the back, seeing what they can do. Go for a switch side and back to the left again. Unfortunate, unlucky put down there from Curtis McDonald. Any position for Belfast in this opening eight minutes? Yes, yeah, so I'm struggling to get into the game a bit. Just getting a score update. Belfast received that conversion. They will are leading 3 0. Trent Harris having a bit of a chat to the ref. Not happy with something down there. And a wee dart on the blind side. Sydney Ford's all over it. Belfast take it quick. Oh, we break one. A wee skip ball to the wing and just short there. And Belfast got the meat pie there. The front rower there in the front's got his meat pie. Good start from Belfast. In the Belfast 10, Trent Sherlock looking to slot this one over from the sideline. Bit of a niggly kick there.
No doubt Skinner will be racking the boys up in the huddle at the moment. And just short. Don't sure a lot won't convert that kick. Jack McLeod, ball in hand. We're going to go to the left side. They shifted between the hands. Bit of a runaway here. Tyler Tupper with her. Ref's blowing his whistle. We'll go back here.
Won't catch that man in winter in any sh shoes. I tell you, lives by the Roman sandals, faithful to the Roman. Don't sandals. go and send them. I need to turn it off now. Yeah.
Pretty big unit, isn't he? Oh, he's a big unit, all right. Everyone looks tall compared to me, I won't lie, but yeah, he's a big unit. <laughs> I think Jack got that one, didn't he? Where are you? Those jolly guys with the flags need to hold them up a bit longer, but I'm sure he got that one. Lucky I'm not on touch, you wouldn't see the flags. <laughs> Go, Sanders! This is what's going on down there. The girls looking good. 10 points, plays 8 points here. 12, I think. Well, 12 or rather, sorry. If that went over, pick. we're assuming went over. Oh, I see now showing his... Uh... Bit handy on the boot as well. We may have meant that to go up, but it was a good, good long. Here we go, Curtis might open it up here. Curtis McDonald. He's got a bit of speed. Speed on the outside. Is he going to chip, chip and chase for himself? Oh, Belfast yes. defenders are there. Oh, tackled without the ball, wasn't he? Oh, the crowd's gone up Did in the corner. Did he get that down? Where's the ref The gone? crowd's going off. Where's mm. the ref? I think he might have got that one. The rest of the boys are running back to halfway. I don't know who scored that. I wonder if Ashley can tell us from the camera. Back-to-back -back tries for Sydney. We needed that. Good job, boys. Hope everyone at home is enjoying their day and enjoying our live stream on YouTube. Well, camera apprentice Asha tells us that it was Curtis McDonald who scored that, and you yeah. may have seen it better at home than we did. But hard seeing out of this hockey um, building sometimes when they put pieces of wood right in front of our view. A cloud for the conversion. Similar spot to the kick earlier. Yes, and that's... McLeod slots that one over nicely. Sydenham lead. Nineteen eight, I think. Now. Nineteen to eight. Beautiful. Only a couple of minutes to go, so they really piled it on the last few minutes. Yeah, starting out a bit slow, they were looking a bit disconnected. The boys have started to gel now, leading close into the half time. Starting to look really good out there. Sitting in backs, stepping up. Belfast go the short kick off, taken nicely by Sydney. Connor Smith plays the ball back. Off to Torian Barnes. Hunter Kinnock. We've seen that box kick all day, eating those metres up. Bit of messy play out here.
Belfast just struggling to get past that advantage line. You see play here. Balfour's just shifting back and forth, looking somewhere to break through that Sydenham defence. Balfour's have a player down in the background. And Sydenham have been rewarded with a penalty there. Unlucky for Balfour's. Balfour's centre. Josh Morrell playing his 100th game today. Also celebrated his 30th birthday yesterday. Congratulations on a huge milestone, 100 games for your club at senior level. Brilliant effort. Definitely Wait, a good effort, isn't it? What year? Hours and hours of training, injuries, yep. getting through it all and carrying on. Sure is. So we'll have a break here. Time off. Two and a half minutes to go. The Oranges. Trent Harris, he's ready to go. He's rearing to go. Keen to get back in. And just Eric Stowers received a little bit of attention from the physio there. An ankle, perhaps? He's a, a good stepper around the rugby field, so he needs his ankle, doesn't he? He had a good game last week. I thought he, he stood up the uh, New Brighton backs a couple of times, but just think he little moves. A bit McKenzie like. It's going to be about a minute to go, I think. That first half has gone extremely quick. McDonald, all in one hand, looking for the offload. Oh. Unfortunate knock on from Sydney there, but we'll play on. Belfast ball. Belfast carry it past the half. And quick play out to the backs. Oh, unfortunate. Three gathered by Sydney. Curtis McDonald with a bit of trick work. Unfortunately, Belfast just there quick on defence. Uh, someone from Sydney was down there. I'm not sure who that is. Hard to see from here. There's a Belfast and a Sydney down, I think. Not long till the half, boys. Well, someone's writhing in pain, according to our... Cameraman, but mm. he might be the Belfast guy, I think. At half time today, we're getting the junior club captain, I think, um, going to be talking with Asha, who's just going to try and find her now. She has not been well, so hopefully she's managed to get here today. Yolo. <laughs> hey, everyone. Switch it. Just tell me when you switch it back. Is it back? <laughs> it's it's on, just getting crowd shots. When he is wrestling on the backfield, having a game of rugby.
Lee Ryan returning from somewhere. I'm not sure where he's been. Yeah. <laughs> I've been down talking to the All Black coach to see if he had some advice. I think he was at the sausage sizzle. <laughs> well, he had a bit of a game last week. He was uh, tackling all over the place. I think he must be uh, good and fit this year. Great. Big blow for Belfast. Their front row of prop is coming off. And he looks sore, doesn't he, poor fella? Yeah. Nursing an ankle injury, I believe. Nineteen plays eight. Sydenham leading Belfast at the half. We'll have one more scrum before half time. Sydenham feed. See what the boys can do here. Or gets it in, and that's a collapse on the right side. Penalty sitting in. Well, the way Jack's roving around, I think they're only interested in kicking it out, giving an orange. Mm. Xavier Beck's just a card this side, please. We'll have a bit of a rest, I think. I think the boys will be looking forward to a break of regrouping for some oranges. Here we go. This combo sit on that time. And Bill first secured it. I think they have. Oh, they're in a. No, they sit on a good dolphin. Oh, no. Oh, well. Ethan McDonald's got a sore head out of that one. Pretty delicate, having a wee nudge there. Shift to that left side. Here we go, Derek. Left side steps. Bowed back on the inside to Connor Smith. You know what, the breakdown. Off to Harris McRobbie. He plays it. Kino again. McLeod. Oh. Take by Ethan McDonald. Bit of a low pass. Started Sydenham. Rick Stowers again. Stowers with a skip. Big stuff for the Not a lot of room to move. He's just moving away from the sideline. We're in again. Trent Harris at half back feeds it out to the backs. A little bit of a hit and spin there from Barnes. So they're just switching here. We're going switching one way back to the other. Just seeing anything. Ooh, I'm lucky. Anything's going to work. Any delicate cleans up. Well, he's going to have well, a charge. Ryan absolutely steaming through. <laughs> we are well into 40 minutes here at Sydney Park. Sydney is working. And and it looks Curtis like McDonald, is it? Curtis McDonald he goes over He decides he'd like another one. He'll say, yes, please. Well, that was, you. I'll take another meat pie. That was a good play, wasn't it, um, Sammy? They, how far did they and how long was that? It must have been a quite a number of phases. It was definitely the longest play. Yeah. Well, passage of phases but in probably, this half. Probably knew the coach's Roth was about to come on <laughs> for that first 10 minutes. Um.
And you're considering at 35 minutes they had five points, and now we're up to 24. So it shows you the pace they've put on now. Something must have see, been said, and suddenly I'm just really starting to connect now. So half time twenty four eight. And there'll be half time, thank you. And we'll pass over to Asha very shortly, who's hopefully gonna do an interview. And Sammy will have a chance for a break from the one and a half game she's been watching. <laughs> no problem. So half time. Asha is about to do some interviewing. Is he ready to go yet, producer? Um just go through the scoring. Seven minutes it was three nil to Belfast. Then at fifteen minutes um they scored another try going up to eight nil. Sydney came back with a try eight five after twenty minutes. And at thirty five they scored again to get up to ten and then twelve. And from that point on, they scored to go to 17, 8, and 19, and then 24 at half time. Are they ready?
Welcome back for the second half. Sydenham leading 24-8 against Belfast here today. Very good clearance from Sydenham there. I'll take it up. That kicks. Belfast will bring it back. Oh. He penalizes them there. Reaching over. There's a bit of cloud coming over now. Sunshine's sort of gone behind the deck and um, a bit of a nestle coming up as well. And Belfast used that to get down towards the 22. I'm just sitting up on the chance to get out of here. Like they started with the same pack of eight, sitting up, second half. And I'm putting the ball in. You know, And I took the ball. Oh, now it's gone back to Belfast. I've lost it. Now they're sitting them. Their ball. know with the fade McDonald having a wee dart breaks through a few good meters there great run and looks like Valentine Tawamiti has come on in jersey number 18 replacement lock 
Værsgo. Got an injury here. Harris? Trent Harris, yeah. He in. He's in a bit of pain there. Oh, and that looks pretty gnarly. That's a big blow for Sydney. He seems to be in a lot of agony there, Trent Harris. Camera's off there, I think, as well. Yeah. Poor guy. Just in a lighter note, I just want to thank the boys um, bringing us up a sausage sizzle up here. Thank you, guys. Appreciate that. Oh. She's just reporting from the field that it's um, a bit wee while, yeah. Fine. And looks like Max Hughes is here to join the boys. First game back after six months. I know Maxie has been hissing to get back out on that field. Looking forward to seeing him. Half back, played New Zealand in the 20s, didn't he? Three years ago. Or a fair dash of speed. Thanks for standing by, team. Trent Harris is just being assisted off the field um, via a stretcher. Seems to have had a pretty gnarly injury to ankle or leg.
just giving him our best wishes as he's assisted off the field. Pretty big blow for Sydney. Mustard in that sausage sizzle. Mmm. Mmm. Make sure if you're um, down at the park today, get down and get yourself a sausage sizzle. Support our junior club. Yeah, I don't believe any malice in Trent Harris' injury. Yeah, apparently just tripped over somehow and got trapped, as happens sometimes. Bit of an awkward situation, that one. Probably take the players a little while to get back into it. Always uh, distressing for the team as well. Keanu Van Staden on as well in replacement for Harris. Nice line out from Sydenham. Taken well, they'll set up for a drive. Next Hughes, first touch of the ball. Arms up for Sydney. Maxwell look for a tap and go, I thought, but we're slowing play down. McLeod will kick for touch. Line out for Sydney. Throw goes to the back. Juggled by Valentine Thawamiti. Belfast might have turned this over here. Yes, they have. Good work by them. Oh, check. What's that? I'm not sure. Yeah, I think just a fingertip from a Sydney player of the year on yes. the charge down. Ball back to Belfast again. Bit of a messy line out there. Belfast regather, Sydney regather, knock on both ways. First knock on Belfast. I think Sydney will be happy with that. Scrum. Right in front of the goalpost. Just give you some score updates from other games while uh, setting the scrum. The Linwood 15, Old Boys 15, Marist Albion 22, University of Canary, which I think are going to be a stronger team this year, 24. Vikings 12, that's Shirley. Christchurch Football Club 12. Thinking University 31, Sumner 7. Burnside 17 over New Brighton 12. Burnside had a big win last week, remember? And um, I think they've got it wrong, but they've got 24-13 in our game. Have we missed a try from <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we need four cameras and not three. <laughs> <if that's cool. laughs> Pretty sure the scoreboard in the far corner there has still got it on, even though I can't see it, it doesn't look like a double number. So uh, I think Canterbury Rugby are just being a bit mean to sit in here. Uh, Belfast, I presume that was offside. Someone there? Sydney with all the position in this half. Territory, I rather. 
He's trying to make his mind up which way to go. The Eastley has just sprung up a little bit. He's gone low and hard. Good take by the old boy over there. McDonald pushes yeah. off two, two pushes oh. off three, and scores on the end. That is a hat trick for Curtis McDonald today. Wow. Three tries. Outstanding. That was a good try. Uh, just apologies on the delay for the commentating. We, um, we're going off the screen, which is lagging slightly in the slightest. So, yeah, apologies if the commentating is a bit delayed. Out here, take the conversion. Who is his sponsor? PCRN. McLeod lining up. He's yes, not actually lying down there. I thought he was going to help Jack by holding the ball, but he's actually yeah. taking the close up. <laughs> Some sacrifices he makes to bring the game to us today. Yep. Love your work, Esher. He made Jack nervous. That's yeah. a good kick, by the way. No. Looked good, but just not quite there. Unlucky. Belfast will take the restart. And that is just short 10 and has hit the touch. Come back to the middle for our scrum. And the Ford set up for another big scrum on the half. Another replacement, Daniel Franson, is on in Jersey 22. Good to see Frano out there. Indeed. Oh. Just unlucky. We're going to get another penalty. On the edges there. And that's a hell of a kick. It's just for the touch. Van Staden with the line out throw. Unfortunate. Knock on from Hughes here. Just got clobbered by two big Belfast boys. A couple of new players on. Ken Singleton. 17, and I think Josh Jones on there too, and 19, I think I saw him. 
There he is. Yep. Well, that's from that left side of the settlement. Nice defense there. Good hands on the wing from Belfast. Good them hungry for more work. Oh. Unlucky Belfast, but they'll have the penalty here. Good take, Ben Stedden. Holly Ryan White. Skip him. So then playing with a bit more depth than that back line there and working to their advantage. Curtis McDonald with a runaway. Sweet chip and chase. Frano's after it. Belfast. Go for the kick downtown. A wee charge down from Sydenham. Belfast Ford's not shy of a strong ball carry. And unfortunately, sitting on the penalty too. Javan Tofu waits. Is on the sidelines, he'll be looking forward to getting onto the field. Pardon me, sorry team. 25 minutes into the second half here. Tofu substitute for Stowers. Uh, number one main camera at halfways uh, decided to stop for us, but uh, luckily we have two more. It'll be a battery issue, I think.
Just grazing the sidelines there. Apologies team, just having a few um, technical difficulties with our camera. Having this big setup is proving to be a little bit tougher than expected, but yeah. not yet. <laughs> Next uses all over that other half back like a bad rash. Unfortunately, How fast was the tap and go, tap and pass. Great defense from Sydney. Oh, Harmer, what an outstanding tackle. Sydney looking to defend their line here. Get him. Nice work there, taking out. Sydney line out, five out from the try line. I'll go for the overthrow. So I'm still moving forward, pushing away from their defensive try line. See in the angle. The Vita Latsu takes it forward. In the hands of Ollie Ryan. And McDonald will clear it. Downtown to Belfast fullback. Hammer again on the D defense. Intercept from oh, Franson. Franson, of course. And he is gone with the wind. Very little wind that is down here today. But that is sensational. Daniel Franson in full stride. He's back to his form from two years ago already. A little uh, sorty over in Australia and he's back as good as gold. Yeah, it's good to have Freno back. Uh, he's doing a bit of part-time modelling over in Aussie, I heard. <laughs> well, if Sydney can save him from that, that's a good thing. I heard uh, in the talks that he is going to be j the January episode of the Sydney calendar. <laughs> They're right. Pre-season goals. Hughes here will take the conversion from out in front. Has Jack gone off, is he? I didn't even notice. Sorry, Jack. <laughs> it's hard to keep off everything, Neil. It is. We're flat out up here. Oh, yeah, and there's a conversion. 36, 8, our producer will be on to that shortly.
Nice to take leave on Sydney, bit of pressure from Belfast. He's demonstrating a box circle. <laughs> the collision from two Belfast players. Nice option there from Belfast halfback. Curtis McDonald wants to take a quick, but Dutchie says no. Leader Belfast, very close to the line. Oh, yellow card. And that is 10 minutes for Sydney. Sydney will drop down to 14 players for the last seven minutes of. Today's match. In Singleton, coming off. Thirty six players, eight here, Sydney leading Belfast. Seven minutes to go on this second half. Belfast close to the try line. Looking to dot down. And they have been awarded that try there. Trent Sherlock will come in to convert the try. Nice to see a few old faces and old names uh, down here today at the Superdome. Vision missed. Eighty six thirteen. Thirty six place thirteen here. Five minutes to go. Club day two thousand and twenty four Sydney rugby. Come on. Well fast taken nicely from the kickoff. He's gonna. Oh, he must be close Always to scoring. Close there. Pass it out. Derek Stowers over Stowers. and try. Mm. Uh, jumps up to 41 13. That's Stowers try. And a lovely try there from Sydney. We're back. We are back. 
Derek Stowers with the try. Yep. Stepping through in Derek Stowers style. Just quickly give you the scores while Sam watches the conversion. Um, Linwood 29, High School All Boys 22. Just let me do a refresh in case there's been an update here because it must be almost the end of other games. 32 22 now for Linwood over All Boys, so the Jersey Bullers go down. Uh, University and Marist are locked up at 27 all. University and Marist. In the Christchurch Vikings game, the Vikings, Shirley 19, Christchurch 15. Um, Lincoln University 54 7 over Sumner. Burnside still lead New Brighton 20 to 17. And here it's 41 13 Sydney over Belfast. Had to kick off. Just that injury time to make up now. Bad kick off from Belfast here. Not long to play now. The clock is counting down. Just update the score for you there. It's 41 13. Stowers of the ball. My apologies. We thought um, Derek had been substituted earlier. Belfast kick back to sitting in position. Just right grazing the touchline there. Nice kick from Belfast. Well, nice. Nice throw and take there by Sydenham. Back line. Stowers. Oh. Rubber kick. Just comes off the foot a bit awkwardly there. Dan Franson. A little bit of chit chat on the sideline with the with the opposition. And Keanu Van Staden with the line out throw. Looks good. Pops off the top. Max Hughes gonna have a dart himself. Gives it off to Franson. Franson beats a couple, makes a few metres. Get the ball out, boys. Max Hughes shifts it along. Oh, Ollie Ryan just with the quick touch. I think the ref... Oh, no, he's not missed there. That's gone forward. Fortunate. Not too long to play here in the second half. Uh... Sydney versus Belfast on Sydney Rugby Club Day 2024. Sydney leading 41 to 13. Oh, no, Buckle looks like he's uh, going towards the corner flag to start picking up. <laughs> We're looking forward to any volunteer who can help take the scaffolding down so that Asher isn't here for another two hours. So if you're at the grounds listening, get over and help carry that back to the club rooms. And more bell fast on attack. Ooh. Good defense from Max Hughes there. Yes. Good pressure. Belfast finding it hard to get past that advantage line. Ooh. And a turn over there. Advantage I think that we Oh, he's gotta be offside, doesn't he? No, he's not. Come back to the knock on, I think. The boy's looking a bit tired now, going quite slowly to the scrum. There'll definitely be a few tired bodies out there. Excuse with a quick tap. 
Hits the blind side. Out to his winger, Dan Franson. Franson cuts back on the in, inside. Oh, and unfortunate, just loses it there. But Sydenham, note the ref will be playing a advantage Penalty. there. Penalty, yeah. Oh, that was four. We shouldn't be too far away from full time here. Just making up those minutes from devastating injury to Trent Harris. Singleton back on. Just a few minutes. Van Steden with the line out throw taken by Tal Miti. Not sure on that calling there, but we're going to have a scrum. Oh, knock on. Sort them out, Maxi. Belfast feed. Good push from the Sydney Fords. That is a great scrum. Sydney will come up with that. Taken quickly by Ethan McDonald. Cole Harmer, ball in hand, takes it forward. A few metres there. Lots of bodies in the way. It's hard to tell. We're going back to the right side. Franson, he looks open, and Daniel Franson will score another try in for two tries today. Good on you, friend. Oh. 46 13. He'll be thinking this game's easy, won't he? Not as easy as his modelling career. <laughs> He's sitting really turned around, uh, cl getting closer to the half time margin. Really started to gel a bit better in the second half. You've, they've really displayed. Team camaraderie here. You're going to test Max out with this big long range one from the sideline. Got a bit of an easterly wind to vector in. This should be uh, full time here. You can tell he's not an experienced kicker because he doesn't step around as much as all the other kickers do. Mm. <laughs> you know, I say that he's standing there for quite a while. <laughs> well, that's not a bad. Nudge. That's a beautiful nudge from Max that's Hughes. Over. That has gone over. Sensational kick. 48 13. And there's more time to play. We are not at 80 minutes yet, folks. There's still time to play. A few Belfast supporters heading home, unfortunately. Safe travels. Back to the snake pit. Hopefully that five o'clock traffic isn't too killer. Lumber Street. <laughs> Davida Latu with a wee chip. Go. Franson Franson's on the edge. Try for three, is he? Nice pass. He's going to give nice Curtis pass to four. Curtis McDonald. <laughs> He's going to take three. No, it's back. Oh, oh. Mac Hughes. Make sure you On return, nice ball, Cole oh, Harmer. <laughs> oh, that's well deserving. Cole Harmer's had a brilliant game. He's had a big week with the interview, and now the try, eh? What a way to seal the deal, finish it off. Make 53 sure. 53-13. 53-13. little hint to my scorer here. You'll have it up in a flash. Max Hughes will take this conversion. 53 plays 13 with a kick to come.
Rashad is going to win tonight, you think? Sam? I always back them. So but, do I. Uh, I'm foolish like that. We just we have to wait and see. Yeah, we should win. Should win. It's over. And they'll be full time here today at the Superdome. Sydney have taken the win 53 points. 55. 55 points to 13. 55 points to 13. What an absolute stunner of a game. So, Highlights for you. Which players impressed you today, Sam? Uh, I think Cole Hammer, exceptional on defence and attack. Not much ball in hand, but um, always reliable to make those tackles, cover defence tackles. Obviously, Curtis McDonald, four tries, outstanding. The pace on that lad is, he's just moving faster than all the old boys to the bar. Yeah, and um, well, it's the whole team, really. They, they, as we both said, they, they started quite slow, didn't they? Just didn't quite seem to get going. But from the, what did I say, 35-minute mark, they suddenly yeah. really um, started scoring at a very high rate. Curtis McDonald, of course, not every day you get a hat-trick. Well done to Curtis. Obviously an outstanding young player, but uh, Max are going to get the ball out to him and the Fords have to do all the grunt work to get it started, so I think they'll all be relatively happy. Yeah, they did start a bit disconnected, Sydney, but it was nice to see them um, pull together and come away with a really comfortable win. All right, so the producer, Mr Asher, is saying time to wrap it up. He's probably paying for all this internet, so um, we'll do that and we'll see you again for the next game. Thanks. Thanks, everybody. Enjoy CBT. Club Down, Club Day, and stay safe. Bye bye. See you later, everybody. Thank you.